Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. The Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. 
We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Shields! Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? 
They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. <laughs> oh god, they're still alive! What did the Geth do to them? Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by.
We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor! Dr. Chakwas! I think he's waking up! You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement, signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some... Ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. 
Zarin's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Who were you just talking to? That was Executor Palin, head of Citadel Security, my boss. He'll be presenting my findings on Saren to the Council. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bid. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker.
And I do know something about Saren. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. That's what happens when you deal with a traitor like Saren. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barlavon said to talk to you. Barlavon is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den, a man named Fist. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A quarian showed up here on the Citadel. He was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go! Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. Stop right there! Don't come any closer! Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot! This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like Fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Go, go, go! Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Where's the Quarian? She's not here, I don't know where she is, that's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Sarah's Give me the location for now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. 
I don't leave jobs half done. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That quarian's dead if we don't go now. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Fist set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who is this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. 
we won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Bastard didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I won't let you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact, and there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere, and we're gonna find him. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander, 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. 
When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped. And I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, sir. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped, I need help. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier.
did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. Think fast, Miss Brothian expert. The conduit? But I don't know... What the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. Gonna be close, Skipper. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. If not, doesn't matter. Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where do you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. 
Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. Of course, you are right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her biotics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. We can talk again after you've seen the Doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. Sometimes, I would run afoul of indigenous lifeforms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes, I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the Matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? 
Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. I'm here for the Geth. It's very important I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. What's a Thorian? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. All right. I'll look into it. Stay put until the field is down. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll just find a small hole to hide in until the field is down. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Stupid machine! Access no, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with- STUPID MACHINE! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. <laughs> Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, Research Assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thori? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thori. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. We should contact Joker. 
Joker. Come in, Joker. Damn it. That field's blocking us. We've got to drop that shield and get back to the outpost. We need to find that ship. Let's get moving. some kind of church. Whatever. I ain't here to learn their customs. Same as before. We don't have the ordinance to blow this claw. Let's keep looking. The door out will be open now. We can head back and deal with the Thorian thing. Well, that got the job done. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of geth, and end things off with a huge crash. human infection or not no hitting the colonists even if the thorian makes them fire on us that's what the gas grenades are for you got it commander let's do this tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't! Okay, by the numbers. We just need to find... to find... What is that? That does not look like any plan I've ever seen. This may be... problematic.
Invaders. Your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Give me what I need, and I'll strike back at the one who betrayed you. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground. Suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I served Matriarch Benezia. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorium so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What just happened? Are you okay? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look pretty rough. We should get you back to the ship. Commander, you look... Pale, are you suffering any ill effects from the Cypher? The Cypher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs> Thank 
incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You must have seen something. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. But we don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that, too? No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. These things never make sense. They just happen, and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so... Chaotic. So dangerous. Don't tell me a little danger puts you off. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You... I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard.
approach control. This is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. That's far enough. Something wrong, officer? You better hope there isn't. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, ma'am. We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Citadel authority supersedes yours. Stand down. Their house, their rules. If you think this is best, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Commander. Me? I'm the victim here. The Geth attacked us. Geth? You expect me to... Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. I need numbers, Captain. A dozen? A hundred? Dozens, at least. They're machines. You could pack them tightly. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic. You came to find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. Waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. I'll be leaving now. Yeah.
You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict with her. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the Relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the Relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. Why does Saren need the new Relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. 
I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You have to give me the location. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die! I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Nedigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We... I do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children.
What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infantry. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. So that's it. All this time and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. These Krogan are slaves of Saren. Puppets. Tools to be used and discarded. Is that what you want for your people? No, we were tools 
us from the council once. Thank us for wiping out Varachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? Williams! You'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. If we are trained for espionage, we would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden rats. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. Shadow is on the ground. Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams, the Igor team. Manalai, Diego team, move. Time to get some attention. Aircraft heading for perimeter stations to recharge. Bunker up before they come back. Another beacon. I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudiment. 
rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind, fumbling in ignorance, incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the mass relays. They merely found them. The legacy of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. They're harvesting us. They're here to wipe us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. We are each a nation, independent, free of all weakness. You cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. Where did you come from? Who built you? We have no beginning. We have no end. We are infinite. Millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten, we will endure. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, we got trouble. Hit me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there, fast. This console's been disabled. Orders, Commander. Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kirahi is dead. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move.
There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Alenko, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I... I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. live now you see why I never came forward with this to the council we organics are driven by emotion instead of logic we will fight even when we know we cannot win but if we work with the Reapers if we make ourselves useful think how many lives can be spared once I understood this I joined sovereign though I was aware of the dangers I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe Leave that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. You were a Spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers, between organics and machines. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die.
can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? Williams knew the risks going in. She gave her life to save the rest of us. But why me? Why not her? It wasn't your call, Owenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Sarah. Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help you put all those pieces together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! I never thought the images would be so... intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's... a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Well, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. I like talking with you, Liara. No matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. Sounds amazing. Are you saying... No! Oh, no! Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean... That is why we must choose our partners with great care. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over... 
I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. You think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon, the conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Commander! Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. It's not your fault. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We're out of the game for now, but I'll find a way back in. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The Captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. It's out of my hand. I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. 
I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happens. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador won't forgive this, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. You'll have a better chance if you go after the Ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The Ambassador has made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't send... <clears throat> Get out of here, Joker. Now! Shepard, may I speak with you? I was just thinking about you. I have been thinking about you too, and what we are about to face. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. We're not going to fail, I promise. Please, I am not looking for comfort. Saren might already have the conduit. It is time to be completely honest with each other. These could be our last moments together. Our last chance to show each other how we feel. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. Just tell me what to do. By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. You were incredible. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say... Thank you. 
for everything. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again. Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. I have spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. 
This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. What is happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I do not think Saren is behind this. But you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. This is incredible. An actual Prothean VI, and I can understand it. I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand. Or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government. As it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Tell me what I need to do. The Conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top-secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The Conduit is not a weapon. It is a backdoor onto the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay, and the cycle of extinction will begin again. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry.
Station! The arms aren't moving. System's not responding. Abandon the Citadel! Evacuate the Council! Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Where's Saren? Former Spectre agent Saren Arturius is nearing the vicinity of the Council Chamber. A warrant has been issued for his arrest, though Citadel Security is unable to respond at this time. Come on, we need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation procedure. This is
afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. In time for what? The final confrontation. I think we both expected it would end like this. You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. You let Sovereign implant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... Still redeem yourself. Goodbye, Shepard. Thank you. data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you really willing to sacrifice human lives to save the Council, Shepard? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. The Council must be sacrificed for the greater good. Don't waste your reinforcements. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up. Save the human fleet to attack Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Picking up reinforcements! It's the Alliance! Thank the Goddess!
Make sure he's dead. He's dead.
Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space.